This is the Rode Wireless Go 2, and this is the X5 U6 wireless mic. And here is a memory card. If you thought the Rode was small, the U6 is absolutely tiny. But unlike the Rode Wireless Go 2, the U6 does not have dual transmitters, an input jack for external microphones like a lavalier mic, or internal recording on the transmitters. But those features might not even matter to you. You might just want a wireless microphone that is plug and play, sounds great out of the box, and doesn't break the bank. At the time of shooting, the U6 is $70 cheaper than a Rode Wireless Go 2 with a single transmitter. It's plug and play for your camera or your phone, just like the Rode is. But most importantly, how does it sound and who is this microphone for? Let's find out. So I have both the Rode and the U6 attached to my shirt. And for this test, we're shooting outside where the conditions are really bad for sound. It's super windy. We have the air conditioner going on full blast right over here and you can hear planes and all the other outdoor noises. There's gonna be no post-processing. This is what they sound like straight out of the box. And I'm flipping back and forth between them so you can see what they sound like uh, compared to one another. And you can also maybe even hear how they reject the ambient noise outside. I do have both uh, the wind screens on both of these mics, so we're not gonna get, hopefully not gonna get that wind noise. When you're thinking of buying a wireless microphone, you're getting them because of the versatility and the ease of use. Wireless mics free you up to really shoot at any distance from the camera because the microphones are always gonna be really close to your mouth. And you don't have to attach a lavalier microphone because they have internal microphones. And so that's cutting out a whole other piece of gear and a whole other purchase that you would need. Both of these microphones are really small and so it's easy to conceal them if you wanna conceal them. And they're also very lightweight. So if you're shooting uh, fitness stuff or cooking stuff or really anything where there might be a lot of movement, they're not gonna get in the way. And so this is where the U6 has a slight advantage over the Rode because it is lighter and it is smaller. It not only has a clip like the Rode does, but it comes with these adhesives that allow you to attach the microphone to a piece of clothing or even to your skin. And this is gonna allow you to conceal the U6 pretty easily. With the Rode, you'd either have to buy adhesives separately or you can get a Rode MagClip Go but that's gonna be an additional $18. It's important to note that both of these are compatible with your iPhone or your Android phone, and you just need the right cords to make it work. When it comes to battery life, both Rode and X5 claim that you can get four hours of continuous use from these mics. And from my test, I got over four hours and actually close to five. Now that you've heard what both of these mics sound like, let's jump back in the studio so I can tell you about how I think it sounds. So after listening back on both of these microphones, the first thing I noticed is that the U6 is definitely more sensitive than the Rode, and so it sounds louder out of the gate. The U6 allows for gain control of minus 20 dB, minus 10, and zero, and the Rode has gain control of minus 12 dB, zero dB, and 12 dB. I had both receivers at zero decibels, and the camera's gain was at two, so they started at the same level. I even found that the U6's audio was clipping in just a little bit of the clips because I was speaking louder and almost shouting to try and speak louder than the crazy wind and the air conditioner that was going on. But besides that, the U6 really surprised me, and I honestly think that it had a better overall sound than the Rode. The Rode was definitely bassier, but it was lacking a little bit in the mid to high tones, while those mid to high tones in the U6 really came through, giving it that nice crispy sound. And even though it wasn't as bassy as the Rode, it still had those nicer, lower tones. And it doesn't just sound better because of the higher output of the U6. I actually took a short clip and raised the gain on the Rode to match the output level of the U6. And here are those clips back to back. Both of these microphones are really small and so it's easy to conceal them if you want to conceal them. And they're also very lightweight, so if you're shooting uh, fitness stuff or cooking stuff or really anything where there might be a lot of movement, they're not going to get in the way. Both of these microphones are really small and so it's easy to conceal them if you want to conceal them. And they're also very lightweight, so if you're shooting uh, fitness stuff or cooking stuff or really anything where there might be a lot of movement, they're not gonna get in the way. To me, the U6 sounds better even when you get them at the same level. When it comes to the ambient noise, they were both really good, but what I did notice is that the Rode was picking up more of the bassier, lower tones, and so you can hear the air conditioner uh, a little bit more than the U6. But that's not really gonna matter if you're shooting in a quiet room that has decent sound treatment. 
I really think that both of these microphones sound great out of the box and the common person isn't gonna notice the shortcomings of either one unless you're listening to them side by side. And if you know some basics of audio editing like adding an EQ and a compressor, you can really make both of these microphones sound basically identical. So the final question is who is the U6 for? Since the U6 does sound better straight out of the box, this is gonna be really important for those who don't wanna worry about editing audio and just wanna get great sound easily and churn out content quickly. If you're a solo creator on a budget and you mainly shoot videos of yourself, this is a great option and a really great value. But if you're like me and you shoot professional work for clients, then getting pro features from the road might be the better buy. If you're not convinced about the U6 and you just wanna learn more about the Rode Wireless Go 2s, watch this video right here that we made all about them. And if you wanna learn how to connect your podcast XLR microphone straight into your camera, watch this video up here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on one of those videos.